Hey everybody, Jeremy here. And for about the past year or so, the Ninja Foodie has been the king of my kitchen because the ability to pressure cook, air fry, and sear and saute everything within one unit has completely changed the way that I cook in the kitchen. I've said that on numerous occasions. And I always wondered, when are other companies gonna come in and copy that idea and come out with similar units that either surpass or at least match what Ninja has done with the foodie. And we have one of our answers here today with a product from a company called Carl Schmidt Sohn. I believe is German in his origins. And this is their take on the pressure cooker air fryer combination unit. Now you can find this on Amazon. The last time I checked, they were selling this for about $189 and they did send this to me so that I can check it out and show it to you in this video. A little full disclosure for you there. But in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you everything that comes with it. I'm gonna show you how it works and I'm gonna do a really simple air frying test. I'm not gonna make a complete meal in this thing, at least not yet, that'll come in another video. But for right now, I just wanna do what is probably the most common and most basic test when it comes to testing out an air fryer of any kind, good old fashioned chicken. So I'm just gonna be making some chicken wings in this thing and come back for a future video where we can check out the pressure cooking portion. And you know, I'll try to make something that allows me to take advantage of both of those main features so you can see how it works when it's all in one. All right, so let's take a look at everything that you'll get in the box. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that you're gonna get in the box. The first being this little mixing spoon here. You're gonna get one of these. And then you're also going to get a measuring cup which is always useful. And then you are going to get a couple of these. Now you're gonna get this, you're gonna get this rack here. This rack is reversible. You can use it this way or you can use it that way, but the legs on it don't move like the one that comes with the Ninja Foodi and it's pretty small. Oh, and by the way, this is a six quart unit. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the intro, it's six quarts. All right, so you're gonna be getting this and then you are also going to get this air frying basket and it also has little feet on it so that uh, you can also use this if you want to pressure cook and this is going to keep the basket off the bottom of the pot so that you know you can still put your liquid in there and uh, it, it shouldn't mess with your food at least not in theory this is the air frying lid and you also get before i forget a little container to collect some condensation that just goes on the back of this unit but this is the air frying lid here and you can't open it like on this side or anything, but if we can just take a look at the underside of it, you can get a better idea of how this is gonna work. So we have this shield here to keep the grease and stuff from splattering on the heating element as best it can, which sits right behind it. And the way that it connects to the main unit is through these prongs here. So you just put it down on top of the unit and you just make sure those connections match and the machine will let you know when it's good to go because if it's not connected correctly, it'll continue to beep and it'll tell you that you need to connect the lid to it. So that's how this works. And then you also get the pressure cooking lid. And of course, this is gonna function like pretty much any other pressure cooking lid. Of course, you're gonna have your little, I'm not sure if this is rubber or silicone, uh, this right here on the inside. And then of course you're gonna have your control on the top for venting and for sealing. And then also for this, when you wanna take it off, all you have to do is just hold this button and then you twist and then that's how you get it off the unit. So it's just a little safety precaution there. You can't open it unless you press this button, regardless of whether or not you started to pressure cook anything. And then the inner pot has a copper lining, as you can see here, it also has some measuring marks on the outside. You can see it like right there. And then they're also on the inside. Now, remember that this is six quarts, so it's not gonna be as big as the original Ninja Foodi. But yeah, that's everything that you get in the box outside of some, uh, you know, paperwork and, you know, things like that. All right, so let's start this little simple air frying test. Now I got inside here, it's just four regular bone in chicken wings. And if you're curious about what I use to season it with, this is some stuff that I used in another video a while ago that I'm just sort of in the mood for. Twisted Q Crooked Pig Cane and Maple Seasoning. This gives a little bit of a sweetness to the meat. So it's got that 
sweet and savory thing kind of going on. I enjoy it. I don't think my wife does, but I enjoy this stuff. So that's the only thing that I use to season this with. And then I put a little bit of canola oil on it as well. All right, so it has a touch screen here and there's the power button. Now you see that when I turn that on, you see how it just says lid and it's beeping. It's gonna to continue to beep until we put a lid on it. Doesn't matter which one. We're gonna use the air frying lid. And uh, before we do that, I'm gonna take this basket. I'm gonna put it down in here. And then I'm gonna take my chicken and just dump it in there too. Next, we're gonna take the air frying lid. And in order to put it on, we just have to make sure that these prongs here fit down into this part here. So, you know, it's basically like a big plug. So I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna sit it down on here. And then you sort of just push it down. It doesn't give you like a snap or something to let you know like, yeah, it's in there. You just kinda just push it down and you can feel when it's snug. So now that it's like that, you see that that control panel has uh, stopped beeping. So let's turn it back on. And here are a variety of different uh, foods and modes that you can use. So let's go through some of them. This is a very nice illuminated display. And I think that the symbols on here, they're very sharp, they're nice and bright, but it's a little bit confusing to operate because even though it's a touch panel, you can't touch everything. You know, you can just like, oh, I want to cook a burger. Why isn't this working? So you kind of got to look at the instruction manual or figure out exactly what you're doing. But once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. So in order to work this thing, first, we're going to push this little button here. It looks like um, it looks like the unit just with an M on it. And by doing that, these little icons are going to light up so we can continue to go through them. So we got our fries and I'm not too sure what that is. It might be a pork chop. Here's chicken. There's a burger, there's fish, there's a steak, there's a chicken. And as you can see, the default times change. So if this were a chicken, it's gonna be cooking at 360 degrees. Um, if these were fries, the default is 20 minutes and it'll be at 400 degrees. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna move this over to the chicken. It's gonna have it at 22 minutes at, I believe it's three, 400 degrees, 400 degrees. So that's pretty much, you know, what we would come to expect. And you can change the time if you want, but we're just gonna try it on the default. And then to turn it on, you have to press the power button. So you would think that that turns it off and it does turn it off, but it also starts the process. All right, so 400 degrees for 22 minutes. That sounds pretty much similar to uh, any other type of air fryer that um, I have seen. Uh, we're going to come back about halfway through and we're going to flip it over and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we got about 10 minutes left. So let's take a look at this and uh, see where, where we're at. Let's take the lid off. You know, I'll say that's looking pretty good so far. One thing that I will say about this unit is it's pretty quiet. There were some times where I started hearing it rumble a little bit, but you know, it didn't last too long. It was really no big deal. In fact, I don't even know if I really got to flip these. It's just a habit of mine to flip them. But yeah, they're looking pretty, uh, pretty good so far. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So uh, we're going to let this go for the remaining time. May not let it go for the whole 10 minutes. We'll see, I may have to come and check the temperature, but this is also a good thing that I just took the lid off like this. I wanna see if it's going to resume from where it ended just by putting the lid back on. So let's see. Get that in there. Haha, <laughs> yep. It has a resume function, awesome. All right, everyone, we are coming down to the wire. I just wanted to bring you in so that we can see together what happens when the timer reaches zero. Is it gonna beep? Is it just gonna turn off? What's gonna happen? Let's find out. All right, so we just got ourselves three beeps, awesome. All right, so that was 22 minutes. Let's take this lid off. 
chicken is sizzling nicely. I'm looking at the heating element to see if anything splashed on it and it's looking pretty clean right now, but I'm just gonna put this to the side. So I have my little thermometer right there so I can test the temperature of this chicken. Uh, so my probe is at 73 degrees. So let me just stick this in a couple of these pieces and see what our internal temperature is. All right, got it nice and deep in there. That was a little weird. 198 degrees. I think that we can confidently say that this Carl Schmitzon air fryer slash pressure cooker did a pretty good job with this chicken and the unit itself was, uh, it wasn't loud, you know? And, I, and it didn't produce like a really heavy smell. I didn't smell any smoke. I don't see any smoke, anything like that. So, you know, it was very unassuming during its cooking process. And, you know, I'm just gonna eat some of this because why not, it's here. It's very hot. I haven't used this seasoning for a while, in a while, so I'll be able to experience it once more. I love that seasoning. It's absolutely delicious. So yeah, it's cooked very well. I enjoy it. I don't even think that it really needed the full 22 minutes. You saw the internal temperature. You can probably have gotten away with that a little bit earlier, but it just goes to show that the default um, timer you know, it definitely does play it safe and the chicken is still good nonetheless. So in this first test, I do have to say it did a great job and I'm happy with it. But those are my thoughts on that. Feel free to leave any kind of questions in the comments or any comments that you might have in general. And I will check them out. If you've got a question, I'll try to answer those for you. And I'm going to come back and we're going to try to do some more uh, different meals in here. Something a little bit more substantial where we can use the pressure cooking function as well. But until then, for right now, hey, this passes the test. So until next time, I'm Jeremy. I'll talk to you later.